What's going on, everyone? My name is Iceman. Welcome back to Warframe. Um, this is... I don't know how... Honestly, I'll be honest with you guys. I don't know how boring this vid is going to be because really it's a, kind of a... Uh, a... Catch-up video. Get, catch up, yeah, get up to speed. Um, because, as you can see, uh, I have a totally different Warframe now. This is Loki and... Uh, uh, kind of sees my name, Loki of Asgard, but <laughs> um, uh, basically, you guys missed a, a lot of uh, like a whole bunch of of stuff. I mean, like everything you see here, you're you're probably like, what the hell? Like, what happened? Um, basically, I was I've been recording the vids, but almost every single one of them has been either just really confusing. Uh, or they were just they were just they were not good they were not they were I mean they were they were either extremely like boring from a viewer's standpoint or they they just they weren't good quality or or, or what have you um, but so unfortunately I've done a lot of things in this game that you guys have not seen I've acquired a lot of things you guys have not seen unfortunately um, but what I'm doing in this video is giving you guys like a catch up on what's exactly is going on, and uh, 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 I've decided that every uh, Warframe video I make after this one, uh, I'm just gonna. Oh, um, every time I play Warframe, uh, you know, after the after this video, or whatever, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna record it and upload it, regardless if it's boring or confusing or whatever, so you guys don't get. Um, Confused or you know, uh, you know, having difficulty understanding like what, what you know what happened, what's going on. Uh, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, so for this, uh, uh, as of right now, I'm in a call with Death on Discord. So, uh, and uh, uh, I, what are you doing right now? <laughs> I'm doing the planes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm trying to get my gauntlet still. Oops, just checking real quick, make sure you guys can see, have a screen at all, you know. Uh, when we want to be talking, you guys having having a black screen, that would that'd be no no fun. Uh, yeah, that's, that gets annoying. I'll try to stop using OBS and just start streaming. Yeah, I'm, I'm good the though. Streaming can also upload to YouTube. Yeah, definitely. Oh, wait, you can upload to YouTube? Yeah. Oh, well, shit. Well, it's, it could back in the back when I started using it. I have to get it again to see if they updated. It did before. They they put some uh, some pretty good updates in OBS now. Like you can there's scriptability now. Nice. I have to get it again and try it one more time. Uh, it, it should be it should be pretty pretty nice. I mean like the the where it shows the volume of like the mic and stuff. Uh, yeah. All that all that is like it's now <laughs> colored, so you know exactly. Where you're at, and uh, um, uh, it, it, it's pretty nice. I like it. Nice. Uh, Would you back off, turret? Okay. So, um, as you can see, the top left, uh, that's Discord, where you can see, you know, what who's who's talking or whatever, uh, and I can do this to bring up you know this for like discord or whatever you can see um, all this stuff but I'm going to get what happened oh I felt the objective is I have the dragon 7 actual gun uh, and I have to fight swarms of swarms of enemies oh well shit I forgot that I had the jar equipped oh well now I can abort the mission because I didn't get anything I needed Okay, so uh, there's there's been many updates, uh, and what Death is talking about, he's talking about the planes, and uh, actually, I think I might have uploaded one video about the planes. I'm not sure. I want to say I did, but I have no idea. <laughs> I have to check. But uh, in case you guys don't know what that means, it basically the Warframe has a now now has like an open world uh, uh, map on uh, that's really big uh, on uh, on Earth called Cetus. So, 
Well, it's called the Plains, and then you have Cetus as the town. Oh, well, yeah, okay. Um, uh, so there's there's some things like, you know, I got Void Relics and stuff like that. Uh, I've learned what those are a little bit. Um, uh, and, you know, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff here that you guys don't have no idea. Like, you don't even know, like, really, you know, what I'm using right now for Arsenal and all that shit. Uh, but, uh, like, right now I have Loki, he's ranked 25. Uh, uh, I have the Dread, which is taken from a, the Stalker, apparently. Um, yeah, Shadow Stalker, to be precise. Oh, really? So, you got two different Stalkers. You got Stalker and you got Shadow Stalker, which is the one that spawns on me. Oh, Shadow okay. Stalker will appear after you beat uh, the War Within. Oh, shit, okay. Mm, so I got that. Okay, cool. These. And I got what's called the Castle, which it was like just got. It's brand new, and holy shit, <laughs> I'm loving this. Look how long this is. This is like Sephiroth's Mass Immune, but in staff form. Like, no shit. You should show, well, in the next video, you should, do, you should show them the range on it. Yeah. I I yeah, definitely would do that. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah. I think it's one of the best uh, uh, um, melee weapons that the game has so far. Uh, so far that I've found, it is the best. Oh, shit. I haven't found a better one yet. I was not in range. So as far like as the everyone's always like, oh the guillotine is better. I'm like, no, I use the guillotine. It's fucking terrible. <laughs> this is what the dread actually looks like. So uh, I'm just gonna keep it the way it is. I think. Um, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Uh, Castle War looks like this by default, which looks amazing. I think uh, Castle is the only weapon I haven't changed the colors for. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna default that. <laughs> Uh, fuck it, might as well just default my weapons. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, quit shooting me. Right, I'm <coughs> right, I'm close your shit. No, I don't need to do that. Uh, I don't even know what any of this shit is. Oh, oh, that's dope. Uh, yeah, fucking mortars. <laughs> I do have upgrades um, and Welcome stuff, but now get out there and cut down the uh, apparently I don't have anything on my uh, on my Loki as far as uh, Loki. like as far as uh, 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 mods. Uh, yeah. Eh. Let's see what should I put on him. Uh, I'll put redirection, <coughs> and then I'll put, ooh, should I put redirection or vitality? Uh, go vitality first. Okay. Alright, that's, alright, I got that, and then, uh, let's see what else would work here. Um... Damn it, I can't find any. Oh, there we go. Um, I guess that's alright. Uh, But still a minute left. Alright, I got that. Let's put it a bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is um, go to the... Uh, go to the codex. Because the codex has been updated. Um, and there was some... I read it before, but I really need a a, a recap because um, I haven't really, you know, paid attention to everything I was reading. So it's like fuck. Um, uh, Alright, so uh, one thing about uh, let me just show you the warframes I have so far. So I have. Um, 
uh, Loki, Rhino, and Frost. Uh, Rhino is regular, Frost Prime, of course, so I only have one Prime. Uh, but yeah, so that's that. These two are Marks, and I'm gonna make him, uh, you know, maxed out too. Um, let's see what we got in the foundry real quick. Okay, so I got that. Uh. Oh God, this. Oops, wrong button. Okay, so here's the codex. Um, so here are all the quests that you can do so far, and uh, I'm I'm kind of like. Some of them are kind of random with with me, like I haven't really done. I'm trying to do them like in order, but it's not. No, there is an order that you actually do them in. The, okay. Like you can't do some quests until you complete other ones. Okay. That's the main story. <clears throat> the ones for Warframes are just side quests. Like an RC is a side quest. Yeah. Very worth it though. Okay, so. Uh training um, uh, I don't think I showed you guys this at all but uh, essentially this will tell you basically how to play the game but it gets pretty uh, confusing near the end uh, 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 but, like you can do the basics and stuff like that I'm thirsty. <laughs> so the basics here. So in case you guys don't know how to play, like this is essentially the training from the codex, and I don't think there's much info. Well, information on Warframe's site itself. So I would think this is the best way to to learn. But of course, this is uh, 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 most of this game is learning by doing. But of course, it has some documentation at least, and this is what it is. So, um, basically, I've done a little bit of all of this stuff, uh, you know, all of this stuff. So, I'm, so to get you guys up to speed, I'm just gonna show you guys, you know, what exactly I'm doing. So like the basics, uh, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read this stuff and then I'm going to explain it. Um, you know, my own words and stuff. So it says, the basics, deny your enemy, move in strafe, W, A, S, and D. That's, that's pretty much self-explanatory. So, um, and what they mean by strafe is like moving left or right by not, uh, and not like, uh, twisting or turning, turning, uh, your warframe left or right as far as like the camera and stuff. Uh, so that's, that's strafing. Uh, so move in strafe, W, A, S, and D. Common direction is controlled, uh, with the, with the mouse, the mouse basically. Um, so if you want to, if if you want to like move to the right, um, but not strafe, you would you would move forward. You'd press W, and then you'd move the mouse to the right. You know, it's, it's in this case, it's it's more learning by doing it uh, in this stage. Um, so come on, directions control with the mouse. Uh, hold left shift to sprint. Tap left shift to dodge and reduce the damage you take. Um, so that that's that's true, uh, and it says guide your strikes. You would fire your equip weapon with the left mouse button. Uh, and that's a that's a pretty sick uh, gun there. I like that. Uh, right click will focus your aim for better targeting, <laughs> and you would cycle between your primary weapon and secondary weapon by tapping F. So you just tap the F by default, uh, and you will cycle between your primary and secondary weapon. And you would you would press R to reload your weapon, depending on what it is. 
uh, and it says here, know your blade, so while you have a firearm equipped, uh, tap E, and if you tap E while you have a firearm equipped, Hello. you strike out with a quick attack from your melee weapon. Now know how it says quick attack, it's just a quick attack, it's not like, um, you know, the ultimate power of your melee weapon. Um, to get the ultimate power, you would hold F to holster your current weapon and then draw your melee, you know, only your melee weapon. And um, so if you tap E uh, with a firearm equipped, you won't be able to do combos or anything like that. Um, but if you hold F and you holster your current weapon and draw your melee weapon, you'll then be able to, as it says here, unleash devastating combos by tapping E when you have a stance mod equip. Um, well, I guess, okay, so that's what I guess when you have a stance mod equip, but uh, you can do like charged strikes and stuff like that with certain weapons. Uh, Castle Wall, you can do that, and I'll show you that when we get to it. Um, but uh, basically, what you would do is you would tap E. So, when, if you hold F and, and draw your melee weapon, to attack with your melee weapon, um, you press E. So you just tap E to, to attack with your melee weapon. Um, uh, if you want to do a charged attack, you would um, hold E, and you'll you'll do attack. You'll do an attack, and then um, you'll do a charged attack as long as you keep holding E. So that's how you do a charged attack. Uh, and you can switch back to your firearms by. It says you can switch back to your firearms by holding F. That's not essentially true. You don't have to hold F. You can just you can just tap F, and you'll when you're switched back to your firearms. So you can either hold F or tap it. Uh, Master of the Shadows. If an enemy is aware, oh, if an enemy is unaware of you, you'll see a stealth attack prompt for increased damage. So um, if you do a stealth attack, the way to do that is to usually it's behind an enemy. So you would go behind an enemy who doesn't know that you're there, and then you would t uh, you would tap E. And then focus your energy. Okay, so Warframes use energy. It says, as your Warframe rises in level, you can unlock powerful abilities. Activation is triggered with either one, two, three, or four on the on the uh, the on the numbers at the top of the keyboard. Um, I don't think it works with the numpad. I'm not sure, um, but uh, you know the one, two, three, four by the utility key and the escape key. Uh, activation requires energy, and the only way, well, apparently, you know, Death said that uh, uh, there's a mod where you can like harness energy from the surrounding area, just like over time. I don't know what mod that's called. Energy uh, siphon. Oh yeah, that's my cut. Fuck, I keep forgetting that shit. <coughs> um, but yeah, that that's that would be a good mod to get. That's uh, one. It's one of my. It's one of those mods on my list to to search for. Um, you can only get it from alerts that I know of. Okay. You might be able to get other ways that I don't know about, but so far it's only alerts. Okay. Um. Uh. But let's so like for me right now in order to get more energy I would have to collect blue energy orbs to charge with the abilities. If you don't see blue energy orbs, um you're not gonna get any more you're not gonna get any energy. Um I mean, unless you have a Trinity then they can give you energy. Then who can? Trinity. Oh okay. She's a healing slash energy frame. Oh well shit. I have a Trinity. But it's not user. Um so uh one thing I have noticed about the energy orbs is the bigger they are it's weird like the bigger they are the the bigger and brighter in in uh in intensity Darker. the color the less uh energy they have usually it's like 25 but if you see like a smaller orb that's really dark and deep blue that's more like 50 I've noticed uh, maybe there is no connection. I don't know, but that's what I've noticed. No, there the is. Oh, okay. Um, so the base. Okay, so gather your resources. So in Warframe, there's a lot of resources. Uh, 
uh, you can get such as well like credits which is like the the currency like money and stuff uh, basic money and then you have like mods and you have uh, yeah. like uh, re uh, materials such as like uh, uh, the hell okay um, materials such as like um, uh, well like, like like stuff that you can use to make to make to help craft things uh, so it says during your missions you'll collect a variety of resources like I just said some like am ammunition are on used only during the mission others like resources I used to expand your arsenal using the foundry and the foundry is a place in your ship and, I'll sh and I went there earlier but I'll show you again uh, supplemental gear like healing kits can be equipped in the arsenal uh, hold Q to activate gear during missions and the only gear that I have right now is a scanner um, that uh, scans like different. Th I don't. What does my scan exactly scan? What's it for? It scans anything that can go in the codex. Okay. So like cell phone fragments, enemies, um, treasure stuff like that. Okay. You can also, if you scan it enough, you can also make it easier to drop. Oh, nice. So it says, seek mastery here. Your warframe and weapons all gain affinity and rise in rank when you use them. So that's important. The, it, it's called affinity. So uh, it's basically uh, like experience. This increases their capacity for more powerful upgrades and ultimately brings a ton of increased mastery. And um, you always want to, you know, uh, get as high as mastery as you can because it's it's like ultimate experience and the way to do that is you have to take tests uh, once you do the uh, you know w once you get eligible uh, for, for like mastery tests and stuff like that right now I'm mastery 5 uh, and death is mastery 11 I think yes so uh, eh. and the 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 proof of like it, so the the Warframe community, if you say you know you're level thirty, that's not really. I mean, people don't. The people might say that, but it's it doesn't show exactly how uh, experienced you are. The mastery level is what really shows. No, the mastery level only gives you new weapons. You can be a master rank twenty and still suck. Oh. All it is is a matter of skill. Yeah. Very true. Advanced movement. So there is advanced movement in this game. Uh, it says mobility is a weapon. Become airborne with space <laughs> to open up. It's, what's time? Okay. Uh, become airborne with space to open up new attack possibilities. You can aim and fire your weapons while in the air. Um, uh, and you know when you press space, you jump. If you press space twice, you execute a double jump to reach new heights. That's pretty obvious. Uh, mobility opens up new melee combos. Tap E after jumping to form an aerial attack. Uh, aim and one thing it doesn't say is the, the to perform an aerial attack you have to tap E after jumping. Uh, uh, so that's true, but you have to aim forward. You can't aim like down or anything because then you'll do like a ground slam, which it says next. Aim down and tap E after jumping to form a ground slam. Uh, advanced lateral dodges can be done while aiming and tapping left shift to dodge in the direction of your movement. So if you if you hold um, uh, uh, so if you're like moving backwards and you tap left shift, you'll you'll I think yeah you'll you'll do like a uh, like a roll backwards. Um, and if you you know it depends really depends uh, you know. What you're using, but basically, if you if you tap left shift, uh, you'll you'll dodge in whatever direction. Um, hmm, let's see. Okay. And it says attack from every angle. So you would crouch with left control. And it says here to slide, you would sprint for a moment with left shift, then release and hold control. That's not essentially true because. Uh, you don't need to sprint with left shift. It, it's recommended, but you don't have to. You can just move forward and then hold control, left control, and you'll, you'll still do it. You're hard to hit from this angle and still free to attack with your weapons. Okay, so that's true. 
vertical traversal. Um, uh, and what this is is b basically it's you execute a bullet jump by crouching or sliding and then tapping space. Uh, and to 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 do that, basically you you hold control, left control to to stay crouched or whatever, uh, or sliding, and then you would tap space and then you'll do a you'll you'll do the the bullet jump. So uh, I'll show you what that is, but. Uh, you don't exactly have to be moving or anything. You can just be crouching, standing completely still, and then press space while you know aiming upwards, and you'll do the jump. You would slow your fall doing a jump by holding right click to trigger an aim glide. Lay down a barrage of gunfire while you are leaping, and it kind of slows down time too, which is awesome. All of your movement states allow unrestricted freedom to flow into a full attack. Uh, an experienced tunnel can run, slide, leap, and ground strike in a single fluid motion. Uh, and this is one thing, defy gravity, that uh, I that I didn't know for the longest time until I actually read this. Uh, it says defy gravity, so you can actually use wars to traverse the combat space. Uh, to initiate a war dash, you would jump into a war by pressing space or vertical service, and then um, you would continue tapping space to keep dashing. That is not essentially true. You don't need to continue to tap space, you can just hold space. So once you start, you know, dashing across a wall, you can just hold space. And you'll just keep dashing across. Uh, Tenno can latch onto a wall by ex executing a wall latch maneuver. So this is what I wasn't, uh, that I didn't know. Um, to perform this, jump into a wall and hold right click. So you have to aim, basically, you have to jump into a wall and right before you hit the wall pr press and hold right click and to disengage and leap from the wall uh, press space uh, uh, but you know uh, to disengage and leap from the wall press space if you want to just let go you just, just let go of right click train the way a tenor master can run along the wall and then a barrage of bullets onto an unsuspecting patrol and slice the last enemy in half uh, with his blade. Try this wall dash melee combo. Wall dash along a wall, so tap space, well, or hold space, aim at a target and then tap E to leap from the wall and strike. See that I don't know, didn't know that uh, you can just tap E uh, while wall dashing. I don't know about that, but uh, it says replay tutorial here, so we're going to do that. So this is like a way you can practice your, uh, it's uh, practice your movement skills. As our enemies grow stronger, so too must the Tenno evolve. I will teach you a new art of movement and forever change how you traverse the field of battle. So Loki runs quite fast, actually. So double jump, press the tap space when in the air, like that. Bullet jump, crouch or slide, left control, then tap space. So I'm just going to stay here and then just hit space. Kind of aim up a little bit, just like that. But I had to, I had, I had to do the double jump because I wasn't going to make it. Uh, aim glide, uh, jump space, then hold right click. So like this. Attacking aim glide, space, and then hold right click and shoot when target appears like that. Wall dash up, jump forwards onto the wall while holding space. So just, you don't even have to look up either, you can just, see I'm holding space right now, and I'm just wall dashing up. Wall dash across, jump onto wall and hold space, see, just, I'm just holding space here. Wall latch timed. So, what you would do is you would hold right click near the wall. So, I'm going to aim right about here, and right before I actually uh, uh, touch the wall, I'm going to hold right, uh, right, uh, right click. Oh, just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to tap space to jump. Oh fuck! 
I ru I did <laughs> dodge back in it. God damn it. Well, I made that apparently. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, there you go. There we go. That was a bit tricky. Uh, I had to. That was a bit weird. Uh, wait, what the fuck? Oh, wrong way. Sorry. So aim up, then left control and tap space. So just like this. So it's the same thing as this, but it's just upwards. Uh, wall dash, control direction with DNA while holding space. So I'm gonna do, just gonna do this, and then I'm gonna hit A. It's a little tricky. Um, uh, even I have trouble sometimes. Um, but you have to. Really, as uh, gets, it's hard to get used to sometimes. Enter the ring to exit. Essentially, that was that. So that was. So if you guys ever want to, you know, practice that, um, just. Oops. Uh, just go to the codex here, and then training, and then advanced movement, and then replay tutorial. Uh, so, in Warframe, there's upgrades and mods, as I told you about. Hey, look, frost. There's frost. Um, Dude, that's a sick blade, holy shit. I'm loving that. So, unlock your power. A, a tenor improves their arsenal with special upgrades called mods. So it's just uh, upgrades to your to your arsenal or whatever. Um, there are hundreds of mods that can be found and combined to enhance your weapons and augment your warframe. So m meaning, you know, make, it, make your warframe better and more powerful. It's up to you to decide how you will combine these mods to suit your fighting style. So it's all up to you. Seek the old ways. So installing a mod is done in the upgrade section of the arsenal. So that's installing a mod. Uh, use the auto equip feature until you become f familiar with the mod system. Mods are collected in many ways. Most can be found as a loot drop by specific enemies. Uh, usually just like this. Um, the Codex and Codex Scanner allow you to scan enemies and learn about which mods they might be carrying. Uh, so that's what this Codex Scanner does. So this is an example of a of a um, a mod here. What it would look like. So it says, "Know your mod." So there's a name. The system needs you. The hell? Will you begin another mission? Shut up, Aldis. Uh, so there's a name. Check the codex for a list of what is possible. So the name is here, of course. It's called Hellfire. So that's the name. Drain. This is the capacity cost for equipping this mod. Um, so when you equip a mod, um, there's. Each mod you equip has a drain, and basically it, it's. It co there's a cost for equipping mods. And it's it's random as far as the number goes. Uh, uh, no, it's a unless, set number. What? It's a set number. Yeah. So if you get a bunch of different ammo drums, they're all going to have the same number of drain unless you upgrade them. Yeah. Um, polarity. In the upgrade screen, you'll see that the mod slots will often be attuned to a specific polarity. And basically, polarity is just like a. It's like a, um, a, it's a symbol that represents um, th um, the style or type of mod it actually is. Um, uh, so it says here, in the upgrade screen you'll see that mod slots will be often attuned to specific polarity. 
and it says marching mods to slot polarity significantly reduce the drain while mods that do not match will increase the drain. It's a little confusing to understand but basically what that means is you have mod slots and then you have mods themselves. So the so when you go to the arsenal and you want to install a mod, uh, depending on the warframe and depending on you know what weapon you're using or whatever, uh, there might be uh, a mod slot and it's and it's just a place where you can you know put a mod, drag and drop a mod. Um, the mod slots might be tuned to uh, a specific polarity, so it'll have a symbol in it. And I'll show you what I mean, but it'll have a symbol just like this. Um, and it might or might not and basically what it says here is if you have a mod, so let, let's say there's a mod slot that has this polarity and you'll just see the symbol so it, you just match the symbol if I take this mod, Hellfire, because it has this polarity and I put it in a mod slot that has this same polarity the drain will be reduced by half um, so it, instead of 8 it'll be 4, it'll only cost 4 However, if I if I take this mod here and I put it in a slot that has a different symbol, a different polarity, it will increase the drain, I, uh, I believe, double. Um, I'm not entirely sure about that, but it would definitely increase the drain, So because they're not compatible with each other. It'll still work, it'll just, it'll just increase the drain and be, and be way harder to 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 use and stuff. Um, one thing it does not say here is some mod slots do not have a polarity at all. In that case the drain would just be 8. So you can put, I'd be able to put this, if, if the slot doesn't have a polarity symbol next to it, I'd be able to put this in that slot. Um, the, the drain would be 8. Uh, so what it's saying here is if you find a slot that has this polarity and you want to use this mod put this mod in the slot that has the same polarity because then it will be reduced by half the drain will be reduced to 4 not 8 um, but again if you do it um, if you if the opposite happens and you take this mod and you put it into a slot that is uh, a different symbol uh, it will increase the drain and that's not good you don't want that um, uh, and the amount it's called capacity. The amount of capacity you have is limited. Um, uh, but again, if there's no polarity or in this slot, you can put this anywhere um, in, in in any slot uh, that does not have a polarity. And for example, if if there's a if if you're putting this on a um, on a well, in this case, it would be a four rifle. If you put this on a on a rifle that um, there is no polar like there's polarity, but there's no polarity that matches this. Um, then you would, if you really want this, you would put this in a in in an open slot where there's no polarity on it, and then the drain would just be eight. So that's how that works. Fusion. So you increase the level of the mod through a uh, level of a mod through fusion. So the level is this here. These these stars here. Uh, this will both this will increase both its effectiveness and drain. So the important thing is undrain. So it will be stronger, but the drain would be increased. And the whole polarity thing still applies, but um, the drain would be increased. So if you increase it by, you know, one, oh well, in this case, if this, if these stars wouldn't lit up, this would probably be six, but now it's eight. Um, the item, so the item is this here, rifle. This determines the type of item this mod can Channel, be installed into. Has begun. It will be marked on navigation. Okay. Um, this mod can be installed in, so it's not all mods can go in all, like, this mod can't be used for, um, put on a warframe itself. It, it has to be for a rifle. It can't be for a shotgun either, it has to be a, a rifle. Um, well, the exception to that was serration. Like serration can go on a bow and a rifle. Yeah. So that's like the only exception. Uh, so 
the item here, you would just read this. This determines the type of item this mod can be installed into. It may refer to a broad range of weapon types um, or to a specific weapon. Um, the upgrade uh, is this here, which is plus 45% heat. Um, this describes the effect this mod has on your item. So if you want to know what it does, it's right here, underneath the name. So what this mod does is it adds 45% heat damage. Um, yeah, statistical benefits will rise if you apply fusion to the mod. So you know if if you if you max the fusion out here and get all these stars up, this would be a different number and it'd be way higher. Rarity. So the rarity. Uh, the rarity is this here. Um, so rarity is identified by the color of the frame on the mod. So this is a see how it's like a silver-ish um, color. Um, that means it's uncommon. So rarity is identified by the color of the frame on the mod. Golden mods are the rarest. Silver mods are uncommon, and bronze mods are the most common variety. So that's how a mod looks and how it how it's red and all that. Um, so drain. So this is basically explaining in their terms what I was explaining to you already. Each, so drain. Each mod has a value attributed to drain which indicates the capacity cost to equip the mod onto your weapons or warframe. As your gear increases in power, your mod capacity also increases, um, allowing you to equip additional mods to your layout. Um, so as you level up a warframe or level up a weapon or whatever, um, your capacity increases as well. Um, Polarity. Warframe and weapon mod slots are sometimes attuned to specific polarity. The key here is sometimes, it's not always. Um, which is visible on the upgrade screen of the arsenal. On the mod upgrade, polarity is indicated by a symbol next to the drain amount. Matching mods to slots with the same polarity will reduce the drain amount, like I said, while mods that do not match will increase the drain. And again, if there is no polarity on the mod slot, then um, it, the, the drain would just be whatever it says on the mod itself. Fusion. Collecting a mod is just the first step. All mods can be upgraded through a process called endofusion. Um, uh, endo, which is a fusion energy, reacts with mods to increase their rank, giving you more power. But again, remember, uh, it will increase... Uh, uh, it will increase the... Uh, the drain it'll increase the the default drain if you if you fuse it but it's 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 usually extremely recommended to, f to fuse the mods and and uh, increase their rate to acquire the mod fusion energy known as endo you can dissolve duplicate mods into endo play mrs endo drops and more so when it says dissolve duplicate mods into endo what they mean is taking duplicate mods or like let's say you have two copies of of the same mod, uh, you could dissolve you could dissolve those together um, to get endo. That you know you can fuse those and destroy them. It destroys them. You can destroy both of them to infuse them into endo. And you can do more than two. You can do like three, four, five, whatever, um, whatever you wish. Um, into and you can dissolve those into endo, in which you can use to help. Uh, fuse uh, other mods. Plan your path. When a Tenno has learned enough, they begin to bend the rules of the system by augmenting their gear with Orican technology. Now this is this is the kind of stuff where I'm a little bit foggy with. Uh, I'm still learning some of this stuff. Um, okay, so you can augment your gear with Orican technology. Okay, Orican Callus and Reactors and reactors increase the mod capacity of weapons and warframes respectively. Okay, so that's all right. So the catalyst and reactors increase the mod capacity. All right. Um, actually, I would say that th it says respectively. So I would think orc and catalyst increase the mod capacity of weapons, and re the orc and reactors increase the mod capacity of warframes. I might be wrong on that, on that, but I'm not sure. Reactors are warframes. Catalysts are weapons. Okay, I was right then. Uh, former, so there's something called former. 
So former allows the tenor to modify the polarity of a mod slot itself. So a mod slot in their item. In this way, they optimize their mod configuration for even greater power. So if you use former, um, like let's say there's a mod slot in your item, uh, like a, a weapon or something that you want to um, uh, that you want to change to something else. Um, you can do that in order to, you know, uh, optimize the configuration uh, for, like, if you really want to mod in a specific item, uh, you can, but the polarity is not the same, you can use former to, to change that. Now, I don't know if um, the former can only be used once per... Formers are used once and then they're used up, but you can use a former multiple times on a weapon, a warframe, or anything. Okay. Um, Alright. Uh, now there's auras too. Auras are special Warframe mods, so um, uh, designed to help your entire team and actually boost your mod capacity. So it boosts the mod capacity and helps the entire team in whatever way, uh, whatever way you would say. Say, to reach perfection, a, a tenor must meditate on the depths of the mod system. I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to mean, but um, eh. I'm assuming what that means is fully understand it. So basically, you have um, you have orc and catalysts, which increase the mod capacity the mod capacity of weapons, and the orc and reactors increase the mod capacity of warframes, and uh, which is which is really really good. And remember, former mod modifies the polarity of a mod slot slot in a item. Um, and auras are warframe mods designed to help your entire team and actually boost the capacity. Um, Um, and again, to reach perfection, ten must maintain the depths of the mod system. So that's how that all works. It's very fucking confusing sometimes. But uh, uh, oh shit, I gotta do it in seven minutes. Um, so you have crafting, foundry. So you can craft stuff in Warframe. So it says fashion your steel. Uh, oh, by the way, Death, can you have like? Are you able to have a regular Kubo and an effective Kubo at the same time? Uh, not at which at the same time, but you can have two of them. Okay, so you can ha you can switch between them. Yeah. Okay. You just have to put one in stasis. Okay. Um. So, do you think would it work if I, because I have I have the cyst. Uh, on the Loki here and the Rhino, so could I essentially get it off the Rhino to get the regular um, Kubro and then keep? Or just you know get one with the system and use the same Warframe to get uh, Rhino. But once you use uh, another Kubro, but once you breed one of the micro brows, it drains the cyst. Yeah. I, oh. Once you breed it a Kubro inside the Kubro. Oh. Yeah, once you start burning the crew it'll drain the system into the crew bar. Yeah, well, I was thinking of doing that with Loki, though. Because Loki has assist and the wolf, and the rhino has assist, so... Yeah, so you can get rid of one-on-one -on -one of them and then just use it for... You, okay. The, yeah. Alright, so crafting foundry, and I'll explain what, he, what we were talking about uh, later when I get back, but... Um, uh, but... Um, so it's crafting foundry. You can craft in Warframe, make weapons and stuff like that. So it's fashion your steel. The foundry is the key to creating the most powerful items in the solar system. Uh, does it say anything about blueprint? Okay, yeah. So study the components. Using the foundry requires blueprints, which are found in the market and on missions, and resources which are dropped by the enemies you kill. And oh, the foundry clan dojos. What? Dojos as well. Yeah, dojos, clans and stuff. Um, they may have some stuff, but uh, it depends on which clan you're in uh, and what they have. Enter the battlefield to collect resources and use them in the foundry. Seek the weapons. Warframes are rare and very powerful. Ex building one in the foundry may require you to assemble multiple paths. Clan research may be involved, um, depending on what warframe you want to get and that, that kind of thing. The solar system is home to many things that require numerous blueprints to complete. The hunt is on Tenno. Uh, so, know the designs. 
Building in the foundry begins by having necessary resources and blueprints. Builds in progress can be rushed, and any item can be built more than once. Uh, keep in mind you can build more than one item at a time. Take note of the required build time though. And you can rush uh, items, but it's not really recommended um, because it costs this here, which is uh, platinum. Uh, and there are two ways of obtaining it. What? There are two ways of obtaining platinum: selling uh, prime parts suppliers or buying it. Yeah, with mirror money. So. Build your future. Explore the solar system and find all the resources to build a variety of items. Advanced players may use the foundry to craft what's called Titan Extractors, which are drones capable of securing resources outside of your mission. So there's da so that was crafting in foundry. There's damage. Uh, let's see. Hold on one sec. Go to text. It was this last medallion. No limitations. Tano, enemies you face have a variety of defenses. There's shields, armor, and health. So shields protect enemies uh, from pretty much almost everything uh, at a certain, um, uh, um, to a certain extent and can regenerate over time. You must destroy the shields completely before you can damage an enemy's health. Um, armor is now there's armor. Armor is worn by enemies to reduce damage to their health. Prepare yourself to do high armor damage to explore your arsenal. Health is how your enemies survive. Destroying all of their health will ensure their demise. So once you get their shields down and their um, and their their armor possibly, get rid of their health and then they're dead. So strike two and last it says physical damage is made up of three parts. So this is something you need to kind of memorize. So physical damage is made up of three parts: impact, which has this symbol, looks like a hammer; puncture, which looks like uh, a needle; uh, and slash, which looks like a what would be a, like a, a boomerang or a blade or some shit. So there's impact, puncture, and slash. Weapons tend to be a blend of these types. They can be modded to specialize further. Use these wisely against shielded and armored enemies. Weapons can perform critical strikes uh, for increased damage. Look for mods that enhance these effects. Each damage type has a chance to put a lasting what's called status effect on your enemies, making them vulnerable. This happens, you'll see the damage type symbol on your hood or heads up display like this. So um, if there's a status effect uh, uh, making an enemy vulnerable if you'll see the damage type symbol so if this shows um, it would mean uh, you know any slash attacks would be more would would hit them uh, uh, would be like critical hits or um, uh, would be increased damage but if you do like impact or puncture instead it might not be the same uh, but like you know if it if it showed p impact it means use something that gives impact force and then you can even do more damage to that. Bend the elements. Now there's elemental damage. So elemental like uh, heat, electricity, cold and toxin. Elemental damage can be applied in addition to physical damage. There are four primary elemental damage types. Heat damage uh, will burn in scorched foes. So heat looks like this, it looks like a flame. Um, these you have to memorize. There's heat, so heat damage will burn in scorch foes. Electricity, which is like a lightning bolt, damage. Electricity damage is capable of stunning and damaging enemies, so stunning them and making them slower or whatever and damaging at the same time. That's what electricity does. Cold, which is like a snowflake. Cold damage can uh, slow down enemies and deal damage at the same time. Toxin, uh, which is like a skull. Uh, toxin damage is effective at damaging an enemy's health. So, um, I'm not entirely sure, but I believe if you have like a toxin effect, uh, status effect on an enemy, uh, what it would do is even if they have their shields up, it will still do damage to their health. Um, but only their health. Not entirely sure though. 
hmm. know your enemy. Okay, enemies you face may have different resistances and weaknesses to various elements. This is very important. Use the Codex Scanner to learn more about their weaknesses to specific types of damage. Um, each plus or minus listed indicates a 25% change. For example, um, if the Codex Scanner will show a damage bonus from electricity of 75%, you'll see electricity, so you see the symbol electricity, and then you'll see 3 pluses, 25, 50, 75%. So that means, so this means, this whole thing means um, that there's a damage bonus um, for electricity um, of 75%. Now, if on the opposite hand, if there's a resistance to puncture 50%, you'll have the puncture symbol and then two minuses. So if you see a symbol and then you see pluses, if you see pluses, uh, that means damage bonus. So that means that's a good thing you want to see. So if you see that, if you see this, that means do electricity damage to the uh, any electricity damage uh, to the enemy and it will do extra damage. However, um, re if you do resistance, so this means resistance to puncture, so if you see minuses that means they are resistant to any puncture attacks. So if you use a weapon that tries to do puncture on them, um, they will, they're resistant to that, so you won't, you'll be doing way less damage than normal. So the minuses you really have to take note of. If anything, if anything, you need to take note of the minuses because those will those can fuck you up. Um, but the uh, the pluses are also good too, which means damage bonus. Combine attacks for greater forms. A ten of master can may go even further, combining the four primary primary elemental damage types to create secondary ones. Um, use monsters to extend and mutate the damage potential of your most powerful weapon. So. Blast. To get blast, it looks like this symbol. To get blast, it's fire plus cold is blast. Radiation is, which looks like this symbol. Uh, radiation is um, heat plus electricity, so fire plus electricity. Gas is uh, heat plus toxin. Magnetic is uh, cold plus electricity. And vir uh, viral is um, cold plus toxin, and corrosive is uh, electricity plus toxin. Now let me just see here if there's any any good way to remember this. Let's see. So we've got flame and cold, flame and electricity, flame and toxin. Um, okay. So you've got all of them here. So flame, electric, uh, flame and cold blast. Flame electricity radiation, flame and toxin. Okay, good. Magnetic, cold and electricity, cold and toxin, and electricity and and toxin. All right. So basically, all there's um basically there's a uh, there's all of them have um, have different effects. So that's that. And I'll just do Sentinels real quick. So battle companions. So Sentinels aid ten on the battlefield, reinforcing it in many areas of support. Sentinels can be built in the foundry or purchased in the market. Use harmony in your attacks. Sentinels can offer support in many ways, including stealth, damage, crowd control, and picking up loot. Um, I do have a sentinel, I haven't used it yet though. Um, pass on your experiences. Sentinels can be modified to suit your needs. Equipping presets will customize your sentinel's behavior. The order in which you equip determines the priority from top left to bottom right. So top left would mean your highest priority, bottom right means you know, lowest priority. Actually, hold on. Okay. I actually have to go because I, I have class in like 55 minutes. Alright. So I guess I'll see you or talk to you when you get when I get back. You. Yep. Alright. Alright guys, well um, that's all for this part as you heard. You know I have class so I need to, I need to get going to the university here. So uh, that's all for this part. For this part. Um, if you liked it, smash the like button like a badass. If you comment, I'll see you guys next time. Now I may just add to this. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing the outro for no fucking reason. But uh, 
it's just a habit so I'll see you guys when I get back and uh, uh, catch you guys next time for a while. Alright, I'm going to mute my mic through Discord just so I don't flood the chat. Alright. As long as you can still hear us, I don't care. Yeah, I can still hear you. So just All right. just uh, say my name a couple times if, just in case I don't hear. Alright. I am the dead. Blech. Did that work? <laughs> okay, yeah, there you go. I don't know why they're so strong all of a sudden. This low level mission. It's because we're further out. Fuck. Uh, eh. We almost got it. What's going on, everyone? My name is Iceman. Welcome back to Warframe. I need to do a version. Oh, fuck. Version. Let's continue with um, what, I, what, what I, I was doing uh, uh, yesterday, whatever. Well, I'll take it. So, that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, so, we were doing the training here. Uh. So, she just stand there while I throw kunai in her face. I know you can hear them, but they can't hear me, so don't worry about it. And so is this guy. Try to try yeah. to hear well, me over well. them, you know. Yeah, take it. Take my kunai all over your face. That's weird. <laughs> you know you want my kunai. Oh! The fuck? Sexual window windows. That's just weird. <laughs> Grow up, mate. Honestly. Not into all that sexual shit. It's boring. Air support. Okay, so uh, last thing we did was Sentinels, wow, I believe. Wow, first guy died, dropped his supply beacon. Did we do Sentinels last? Is that what we did? Yes, okay. So Melee 2.0 is what we're going to do now. So, Melee 2.0. Tano can engage the enemies in close quarters combat I by holding F to draw their words. melee weapon. Once equipped, a tenor will be able to realize the full potential of their training by executing you know combos with E. Nope. So hold F to draw your melee weapon, throw away your whip. secondary or uh, primary weapon or whatever you have, whatever gun or wh uh, shotgun or whatever you have. Hands. If you want to draw your melee only, hold F. And now I didn't get a kissing girl or sucking dick. Uh, once equipped, a tenno I don't know where I got that from. Will be able to re realize sorry, the full yeah. potential of their training by executing combos. I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm, I, bet, I bet like I. Parry incoming attacks with junk. right click. Care about me um, my hand or Tenno can deflect then. both blades and bullets with ease. Goes, you know? So if you hold Maybe. right click, you can um, you can deflect blades and bullets. To sheathe your weapon though, hold F again. Your firearm will be drawn. Now, you, now that's not entirely true. You yeah, can either I... hold F or you can just yeah, press F. Both will work. Fuck you up! 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 What am I doing? It's all right. Like whatever. Final Fantasy VIII. I'm Zell. I'm swatting flies around your body. That's I'd be Cipher. I'd be fucked. Whatever, Cipher. Please, I'm Cipher. Oh, it's missing a giant ass sword or a long ass sword. Death. I thought you were death, not Sephiroth. In this case, I'm Sephiroth. My weapon. Uh huh. Oh, no relic, really. Fuck my life and all the pieces. I want to kill the man. Okay. Um, that's not making sense now. Uh. Okay, so Tano can enhance their attacks by channeling the energy into their weapon by holding down left click. Um, so basically, instead of using the power for like 1, 2, 3, and 4 to do actual warframe right, powers, can you can hold down left click so as long as you have your melee your weapon um, drawn sure out alone, just your melee like weapon. This. You can hold down left click and you'll channel your power, um, and it will still decrease in power slowly, but you, you'll be using your I love um, how every time I just jump from a high you'll spot, use your power um, <laughs> through your yeah. um, That's nice right whatever weapon you're using. Round attack. Um, 
Um, am I going the wrong So I whatever, uh, you know, you use your power through your melee weapon. You. Now one thing is, was, you can hold left click and, 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 you know, attack and stuff. Um, as long as you don't yeah. actually hit anything, or hit an enemy uh, with the energy yeah. channeled, uh, as long as you don't actually hit anyone, um, your, your energy will not deplete. So, yeah, the energy only the depletes <laughs> on your <laughs> melee weapon. Um, if you're channeling, the energy only depletes you're if eventually. you actually hit an enemy with the, um, yep. the channel blade the energy, first came out. I was like, how do I get back? With perfect timing. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I got this. Oh, yeah. Tenno can enhance the test channel the energy to the left holding down left click. With perfect timing, Tenno can parry an incoming melee attack with an, from Come an enemy on, with right click. So... Basically, if you time it right, like um, a you can parry an incoming attack from an no, enemy no, with right like clicking, like you know, if you hit three. it at the right time. Come on! And they all just shoot. Parrying an attack while channeling <laughs> will stagger the enemy. So, what Jesus that Christ. means is if you parry successfully, so if you time it right and you parry One the, of the attack. Days in Jedi history. While channeling, Leo. so you're holding Yay, down left click people. to channel the energy uh, into a melee weapon and you parry with right click at the same at the yeah, same time while you're channeling um, um, you can stagger the enemy and when it says here using their quick reflexes the tenor can follow but up with an execution by tapping A while standing close to this staggered to target Good luck with that. but it's only when you're channeling and they you parry while channeling device for taking down guys just like you Good luck with that Let's see here. Uh, equip stance mods in the right arsenal tunnel. Hallity. Devastating combos turn this upon your enemies. Right One stun stance right mod is called Crimson Dervish. Crimson Dervish can be equipped on single bladed weapons like the scanner and allows the user to trigger combos by pressing the correct button sequence. One of the attacks that is unique right. to Crimson Dervish Get is the, the coiling bounty. impale. It is a four strike attack that you can trigger by pressing E, 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 and then huh. right click and E at the same what? time. That's 48 flash good. Do what? It's 48 slash on a czar good. That's decent. Uh, collect stance mods to collect uh, to unlock a variety of attacks for your favorite melee weapons. Cut out the dicks. Only one stance mod may be equipped at a time, though most weapons will have a selection of stance mods to choose from. Special attacks for future new and exciting animations. Um, check out the combo button mm. after equipping a stance mod. Uh, for, or from the pause menu. Um, doing a mission to see a full list of special attacks. Uh, so, Simon Crouch. so it's only with stance mods. Oh, you're already out there? But like I said, you can oh, also um, the, uh, charge attack gate. with some weapons too, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, primary okay. and secondary weapons can be unequipped in the arsenal. You know Try what? taking missions with only quick. your melee weapon equipped for the ultimate Tenno challenge. Yeah, this isn't a place for leveling, this is a That's place very for... Tough. <laughs> Clans. <laughs> yeah. Gesundheit. Thank you. Strength and numbers. So there's clans in this game. From the pause menu, navigate to the communication well, and then clan. From here, you'll be able to start your own clan and learn about clans. Once you select to start your own clan, you can so choose a name if it's yet? available. Your clan will be not. created. It's awesome. There are many tiers of clan sizes to suit time, your right? preference. Whether you want to be a part of a vast 1,000 member moon clan or a tight knit Watching clan children get eaten by an evil clown gives me an erection every time. <laughs> Build your fortress. When you first join a creator Warframe clan, you'll be given a blueprint for a dojo key. You can forge this key in your foundry. So what that means is, uh, if you... Got my life so, um, if you join a clan, or invited to a clan, um, you need what's called a dojo key, and that's to access the clan's... Um, the clan's base, you know, where everyone in the clan Did stays. You keep at least? Um, for the do dojo, Did you, uh, keep you need Rhino? a key in order what? to. Now? You need to forge a key, just one, for, for each clan. Uh, so you could have kept um, Rhino, you just needed better weapons. So the thing about clans is you can only uh, join one I clan do have at a better time. Weapon called the and, Blade. You know, if you <laughs> leave a clan and then try to rejoin it, um, you'll need another dojo key or anything or something like that. Each clan you join, each time oh, you, you join a clan, whether it's the same one a second time or Not third yet, time, same we're, one we're multiple times, or a different clan altogether, here. you need a dojo key each time. You need a forge one each time. So that's to access the clans. Your forge is key in your foundry. You'll be able to access your dojo through the clan page in the pause menu by clicking enter clan dojo. 
If you see a door with glowing red outlines, it is an open node. Uh, you can interact with this door to bring up a menu that will let Girls you choose. Girls need to learn how to play with themselves. Um, Wait, what? Let you choose a room to start constructing. My this daughter node. is brave. She is a huge slut. Uh, with constructed construction progress comes course. When a room with de decoration right? is under construction, uh, members no must, must donate their resources nah. to see their projects completed. Oh, I shouldn't just at the moment though. Research new technology. Some weapons of warframes can only be created through research in clan tech labs. In order to craft these items, you must first construct an oracle. Once completed, you'll be able to create laboratories that focus on tenno grenade yeah. corpus or infested technology. I actually need some of that. Yeah, same. For honor, for glory. Care for some friendly competition, Tenno. Often you'll find special events occurring that will require the attention of all your clan members. The Lotus rewards those clans that have shown exemplary skill with emblems for all members of the clan, or trophies and vanquished enemies for your clan's dojo. By the way, guys, I forgot to say. Oh, so um, it's making it. Uh, it. I think you guys have missed. Uh, no. Why can't that make um, it? I part of the story shot. too, unfortunately, and I can't go oh, back. Yeah. Unfortunately, the only way to do that would be to create a new account, I would think. And I'm not going to redo everything I've already done because this is way too much fucking work. I mean, there's so much shit that I got over the, over the, over this time. Um, Michelle, rip them up there, grenier asses. <laughs> showing his caring. Building a trading post in your dojo allows clan members hey, and invitees to exchange tradable items, such as mods and keys in the dojo. <gasps> Trades attacks and the clan may increase the taxation rate. She wants us to insert our profits. data mass into her soul. Ooh. Um. You will find the trading post in the decoration section. Um, I'm gonna take these headphones off for just a second, okay? All right. Major Empire. There are many decorative rooms, gameplay spaces, and majestic areas you can build to bring honor to your clan. Um. There are meeting halls, dueling rooms, obstacle courses, and more. The Tenno are comp constantly expanding the possibilities of what they can build. Moon Clan Ghost Clan. Clan tiers are a method to organize clans by size and keeping it possible to run a full dojo for any size of clan. You have a Ghost Clan, which is comprised of 10 members, Shadow Clans are 30, Storm Clans are 100, Mountain are 300, and Moon are 1000. There are separate leaderboards for each clan tier, and uh, clans will only compete against other clans in the same tier. A clan's tier is raised when it builds the appropriate size clan barracks, and this must be built. These must be built in order from smallest tier to the largest. Dark sectors. Okay, dark sectors. What? This. <coughs> this shit is actually. I'll tell you one down. Uh. This shit is actually very, very difficult to understand. Um. I don't, I don't really understand it myself, to be completely honest with you. So I won't be able to explain this really. But this thing is called dark sectors, and apparent, and it's, um, apparent, it's basically, um, from what I understand, it's it's territories. So it's like a, um, it's like war, uh, pack of wolves marking their territory. So it's it's territories, okay? It's control of territories. Uh, so this thing is called solar rails. So solar rails are colossal organ devices to distort the void. And I'm allow sitting here aiming my heat sword at them. Uh, distort the void and allow players to reach otherwise this inaccessible regions so of space. Buggy. Known as dark yeah. sectors. Clans and alliances can deploy so solar rails to control uh -huh. these areas. That's the but it's fun. Um, yeah. On the solar map, collecting tributes from players who access areas within the territory. So this way this works is, once an oracle has been built, clans are able to construct oracle labs in their dojos. Clan warlords and tacticians can research blueprints and construct solar rails from the terminals located inside the oracle lab. Damn it, small clans... Sir. Oh, it's another one for my counter again. Small I'll clans can unite to form alliances and are able to construct an alliance solar rail. Uh, all clans within the alliance may contribute toward the research and construction of the solar rail. Uh, dark sectors. Where I need 
I Researching a solo rare blueprint requires resource contributions what do you mean? from clan members. I need to heal my health farm. Uh, the resor no. re resources required scales with the size of the clan. Once resources complete, construction of the solo rail can begin. When I assassinate them. The resource requirements of a solo rail, however, do not scale with the size blind. of the clan. Uh, s s wait. Researching a solo rail blueprint requires resource contributions from clan members. What will we get? The resources no, required scales shit. with the size of the clan. Oh. Once research is complete, construction on the solar rail will begin. <laughs> Once Center the resource requirements of the solar rail... Uh, <laughs> uh, oh. Wait. Researching a solar rail blueprint requires resources. Um, the resource requirements of a solar rail, however, do not scale with the size of the clan. What the... Oh, okay, I get it. Oh, okay. So, researching a... So, so there's blueprints and regular. So, so researching a solo rail blueprint requires resource contributions from the clan members. The resources required scales with the size of the clan. This is for the blueprint. Once research is complete, construction on the solo rail itself Ow. can begin. What a dick. The resource requirements of a solo rail itself, though beyond the blueprint, do not scale with the size of the clan, so it is imperative for small clans to form alliance to expedite the construction process. A schema is required to be applied to a solar rail before it can be deployed. The now schemas can be accessed in independently from the solar rails uh, via one of the consoles near the entrance to the organ lab. Uh, from this console you can design the layout of your solar rail. Okay. Tacticians and warlords will be able to build the rooms and place defense systems within the schema, while other clan members will be able to contribute to their cost. The schema is complete once the power core room has been constructed. It can then be applied to a solar there rail that is ready to be deployed or can override existing solar rails layout. Once construction has been completed, clans and alliances are able to deploy their solar rails in specified dark sectors of the solar map. Clan or lines controlling the solar rail will be able we to specify a tribute, one collecting a percentage of any resources or credits collected by players using the we solar one more rail. Try. I think. If another, clan, six, three, three. if another clan already controls the dark sector, Damn ownership it. can be contested we'll get it by deploying a solar rail into their territory. Deploying a second solar rail within close proximity of another Fuck causes interference with the void disruption technology used to reach the dark sectors. This prevents other tenors from accessing the space uh, while both solar rails are active. When there's like conflict over solar rails, controlled by rival mm, clans or alliances, will arises. What kind of Tenor have the opportunity to, to fight for either well, side. I already or have two missions. GS. Uh, missions played for one side cause damage to opposing solar rail. Clans yeah. may yeah. often battle related to those who side with them to gain uh, additional support. They're supporting the challenger will attack the solar rail, while they're supporting the defender will try and stop them. All battles take place in the defending solar rails designed by the defending clan. The mods used by Tenno and equipped on their weapons will initially be locked. As you gain experience by defeating the forces on the opposing side, your mods will unlock, allowing you to become more powerful as the battle progresses. The goal is to destroy the power core if you're supporting the challenger or defend it if you're supporting the defenders. Each victory for the challenger will damage the defending solar rail. It is destroyed if the health reaches zero before the time expires. There can only be one rail on a node. Let's so if the defending rail survives the challenge, then the challenging side of the rail will succumb to the energy and interference. Uh, so and this load. one gives us bow prime blueprint. The clan prime that controls prime the surviving stock, solar rail takes control of that axe section and begin, begins systems, collecting tribute from other tenor who access it. Prime Damn. Yeah, that's what that one gives us. I have two of them. Oh, one I thing need I, more. I think I forgot to do in the last part of the vid was to show you guys the the current uh, settings I have for the game. Yeah, you guys go ahead and take cover from me, I'm not gonna bother with you guys. So synthesis. Seven Cephalon <laughs> Simaris is building a digital oasis called Sanctuary. Simaris requires Tenor to hunt down I'm and convert special there. targets in a process called synthesis. In exchange, Simaris <laughs> promises enlightenment to his hunting and so mods and shit. Right. Visit him in the relay to learn about I'll which type of target he is interested in collecting. Over time, Samaras will choose new targets for the Sanctuary. The tools of the hunt are your synthesis scanner and kinetic siphon gear. Equip these before embarking on your missions. Yeah, hunt, made it. Hunt where the target is normally found, avoiding close mission types like defense and interception. Samaras will inform you if you detect a synthesis to target in your mission area. So, Shinobi. What's up? 
How's that video coming? Uh, it's all right, I guess. How close are you to being done? Uh, I have no idea. I mean, it won't be extremely soon. That's for sure. All right, guys. Hopefully, we can farm relics soon. Uh, I do have class at 3.30, so I have to leave around 2.20ish. Uh, uh, so what time right now? It's 10, it's, base, it's 12 to 1 for me. Uh, so I have a little bit uh, of time, but... So should we just farm the last with you when you get back? Uh, yeah, probably. You're actually going to be on this time? Should be. Because last night you said, yeah, I'll get on later, and later, and you never did. I did have work to do, so. Yeah, I know. That's understandable, but don't say you're going to do something if you're not. You know? I'm just messing with you. Uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> sure you do. Neo F1. But I'm a dumbass, remember? If you say so. I do say so, because <laughs> I know it's true, and I'm happy about it. <laughs> Ooh, I want this one. Uh, so this gives Ember Prime chassis. Okay, so so Master Formula takes the synthesis start target in your mission prime area. Handle, former blueprint, now the prime hunt begins. Equip your synthesis nice. scanner and track the infant glowing signatures to his Those hiding spot. Upon reaching the target, use the synthesis scan to analyze specific points in it, but beware. The synthesis Axios causes two. dangerous side effects, increasingly adding risk to complete the synthesis. Axios if the target is aware of you, it may Axios attack or try to escape. This will make scanning its points especially difficult. Effective Tenno will often deploy kinetic siphons to temporarily mobilize the target. Look, you prime hunt. blueprint, we need that Are one. Are you ready for the hunt, Tenno? So that's uh, synthesis. Now them. there's the index. So, Tenno, you think you have what it takes to be a broker on the oh, what is that one drop? Allow me to educate you. Meso E1. When you kill a broker, they will drop an index point. Alright, so I need that one too. It's your job to pick it up before the other team does. Why does this you one have a relic? Number of index points, but know that they're worthless until you've deposited them in the bank. We call this capitalization. So we'll go for the Neo F1, leaving them vulnerable to all. You see, the index is a game of risk and reward. Hold <coughs> too many points, and you risk rewarding the other team. Let's Tenno, see. You best make peace with the void. The index is about to begin. Alright, so that's the index. Before I continue, oh, I'm gonna show you. Oh fuck! Oh, oh. I'm gonna continue. Oh, I'll show you the oh. options I have. So this is what I got here. Okay. In a com. Okay, that's what I got there. Gameplay. Alright, is that what we got? Eh. All right, good. Chat. Refinery filter, no. Chat text size, I do large. Active tab notifications only. I don't know, emojis is text. Emoji color. I do blue. Chat scale, okay. Confirm that. Voting on him. Interface. Okay, so what we got here? Nice. Show FPS, mark your pair, you are in screen shorts. Okay. So what we all got here? Equip. Uh, prefer um, overlay. No. Alright, so this is what we got. Already not. Display, okay. 920 by 1080p. 60 hertz, but we're at 30 FPS marks. Uh, for max frame rate, 30 is. So, if you're thing off, we don't need that. Contrast, that's alright. Uh, good. Uh, it says NVIDIA physics effects could not enable NVIDIA hardware acceleration. That's because I disabled it completely. 
Dynamic resolution disabled? Dude, I want this. Oh. Disabled. Geometry detail. Hi, hi, hi. It's going to be filtering. Okay. Auto aliasing. Let's turn that off. Fuck it. FXAA low, whatever. Let's see what the game is like with the disabled. I'm curious. Oh yeah, that's yeah. I can see that shit. Oh well, it's all right. Let's just try it with that just a little bit. Audio is what we got. Okay. Um. Never voice, no, we're getting control outbound, okay, watch the mode, okay. Yeah. Alright, so that's what we got. Okay, so our data listing is completely off right now. But I don't care, to be honest. Um, okay, so we did all the training. Now we're going to do... Not a universe. I'm back. Uh, welcome back. Thank you. Uh, psychics are not back? I don't think so, no. Uh. Yeah, I didn't hear him or anything. Ah. I'm also making food. <laughs> That's a good idea, I should do so too. Yeah. Oh, there he is, I think. Oh, no, it takes my group. Actually, I'm gonna have this down here, just below this, okay? I'll go back again, I think it should be done. Actually, I'll have that right here. Actually, that's really far over on my screen, so let me just do that. Oh, yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not. Let's do this. Alright, so... Hiccups. Alright, so assassination. Let's, let's do this, okay? So this is the different types of missions you can do in this game. Assa so there's assassination, okay? So for assassination, assassination contracts mark high priority targets around the system. Hunt down, eliminate these enemies, then head to extraction. Ah, he left. Huh. Uh, if he got kicked out of the group, then maybe, or if you got kicked out of the group, it was it did it lose connection? No. Uh, he also left Discord, so something might be going on. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. Well, that's why I'm doing this for like farm on my own. <laughs> I, I'll just, uh, I'll just leave my, my mic on. Whatever. Uh, <coughs> uh you, we both know I don't care. Ha! Still this for you. I guess it didn't work. Oh well. Oh, he's dead. Okay, so... What? Oh, I'm killing the officer. Uh, so, basically what you do is you you eliminate the specific enemies and then you head to extraction. So, that's what, that's what assassination is. Um, capture... Location of enemy VIP, very important has been discovered, track them down and then capture them. Watch out as these enemies would rather run from combat than fight. Uh, oh, okay, so this is, alright, I see. Um, 
If they see you, they will run towards the nearest extraction point to defeat them before they can escape. Once the target is down, press X to capture these enemy, uh, targets and teleport them to a waiting holding facility. Uh, deception. Enter the enemy ship and hack the navigation console to redirect their path. At the start of the deception missions, a data mouse will spawn next to the tenor. It can be picked up with the X key, but will prevent the carrier from using their primary weapon. Take the data mouse through the mission and place it in the enemy navigation console. Have you played Deception? I don't even think we have. Uh, I have. Yeah, I haven't. Because I don't recognize it. Uh, so, defense. I do this a lot. Defend an important target against waves of enemy units. If the defense target is destroyed, the mission automatically fails. Every five waves, two sustain, fight, or extract from the mission. Uh, excavation. The start of the mission. Uh, objective markers will appear showing the location of excavators. Travel to these points and use power cores to activate the excavators. Defend the excavator until it can unearth what it was looking for. Up to three excavators can be activated at the same time. Uh, exterminate. This is really easy. Usually. Enter the level and kill every enemy you encounter. Leave no one standing. So this is exterminate. It's probably one of the easiest things you can do. Hijack. Hijack. I did this like once or twice. We've done it twice, I've done it a little more. Okay. Uh, hijack an enemy transport escorted to extraction. Uh... Hello? What happened? What the fuck? No idea. Can you hear me now? I heard you the first time. Oh, okay, well... I don't know. Went to use the restroom, got that Ten. done, um, came back, available. and screen was just froze. Oh. Uh, so I just had to reset my entire computer. That's weird. The system continues to I figured something happened, so I just went ahead and started doing the bounty. No, no, yeah, I know. That's good. Okay. Um, um. Yeah, because I was confused. I reckon enemy transport escort to extraction. Guard the vehicle for enemies that move along the path. The In order to make the okay. target move, Tenor must stand next to the cat and use energy from their shields no, to power it. So you would use your power you for or you energy you from your shields. Gotcha. So you'll use energy from your shield. Oh, so you would tough. lose your shield. To power it. Up my war. As the shields drain, the cat will move along the path towards destruction. The more Tenno giving shield power, the faster the transport moves. The transport will lose health over time, so speed is critical uh, to ensuring success. Okay, hold on. Oh. Boobs this and then your way. You joined just in time. This one's almost over. Yeah, because they asked me. Uh, it said it said your game was interrupted. Would you like to rejoin your squad? I'm like, yep. Yeah, I like kind of did that. It's easier with getting back with that stuff. Hold on, bitch. Alright, so, sorry. Uh, so, sabotage. Hive sabotage. So, there's sabotage missions and then there's hive sabotage. These sabotage missions set an infested hive. There are three major hives around the level. However, each of these are invincible at first. Growing near the hives are five tumor nodes that have to be located and destroyed. Once the tumors are all destroyed, the hive will become vulnerable to attacks. What's up? Right, so before we After hive is destroyed, it will activate one of six different traps that would trigger right, for the remainder of the mission. Bowl of next to me. Um, uh, once, oh, that would trigger. Okay, oh, after hive is destroyed, it will activate one of six different Fair traps that would trigger during Ooh. the remainder of the mission. Once all three have been destroyed, ten will have to reach extraction with three traps active. I've never played hive servitors before, so I have no idea. Interception. Use enemy relay stations to intercept and decode important enemy transmissions. 
Interception missions have four relay points. Standing beside these relay stations will begin to capture the point. The enemy will spawn endlessly and attempt to take and hold their own points. When you capture a point, it will start decoding a message. Uh, the more points you hold, the faster the decoding will occur. When you fully decode a message, you will have the option of leaving or staying decoded another. <laughs> the more messages you decode, the tougher the enemies will become. become. We're gonna kill that damn thing. Oh, Invasion. No. I can't hit it with my weapon. Oops, sorry. Interception. Okay, invasion. The Corpus and Grenier are fighting for control of this planet. Choose one faction to represent in the conflict. Your faction okay. will fight with you as you exterminate the enemy forces. So this is one thing where the Grenier like, are helping you with shit. Good Hellspawn can't hit the fly flying units. Um. God, this this mission really go far. can be repeated until one yeah. faction is completely taken control. Oh, there. If enough missions for the same faction are completed, they will see the to move all that slow. Battle pick can only be earned for a single faction. Alright, can you exalt your blade take those things out? I can't hit them. Damn, yeah. another one. Shit. Can only be in for a single faction. What? Okay. They're dropping my health. Information oh, for progress shit. of the conflict can be found in the solar chat. Once a faction wins enough battles, the conflict. I can't <coughs> hit them. And even worse, I'm just sitting here. Face shotting a, uh, a napalmer with uh, the Vecca sniper rifle and was barely doing shit to him. I was saying you just use your exalted blade to take him out. Level defense. Uh, I'm gonna set up an enemy for you to devour. Whoa, purge. Fuck. In the mobile defense missions, Tenno must find and defend multiple consoles while the Lotus hacks into enemy systems. Here to borrow that guy. Hold on. Oh, I can take this guy out. Alright, who am I devouring? This guy right here in front of us. A data mass will spawn in the Tenno. Oh, fuck. Too late. The data oh, mass. They grappled me. A data hey, mass will spawn that. in the Tenno must Okay. Stop it, uh, dick. A tenor, yeah, a data mass will spawn in the Tenno must carry it to one of the nearby targets. Oh no, they got a health spawn. Take the data mass to one of the targets, place it in the console by pressing X, and then defend the target. Oh, she's out of here. Um. Come on, don't you dare go down again, health spawn, because I can't save you down here. When the time is completed, pick up the data mass and move to the next target. When all the targets have been defended, head to extraction. Oh, uh, get the prisoner. I got these guys. Hey, look, right next to extraction. Damn it. Fuck. I need to check the job chance on these relics. There might be easier ways to get these. There's only bounties. Wait, the ones that we need are only from bounties? Right now, Sorry. yes. Not they're doing it, the, they're okay. doing it the test issues. Oh fuck, and we got ghouls. Burn it, bitches. Um, well, obviously there is recovery. an issue of cover not getting them. Well, I was getting them yesterday just fine. Of course, I only got three. My team is defeated by the Zanuka Hunter. They are immediately taken to the recovery mission. Fucking ghouls, get away Tenno from me. Tenno start the level with no weapons or warframe. I'm gonna have to search through the level for the missing gear. 
with no weapons. Oh, this is called recovery. With no weapons, reco a Tenno can only use their fists for attacking, so using stealth to attack effective method and taking enemies down. Rescue. A valuable ally has been captured by the enemy. Infiltrate their stronghold and search for the prison. Once there, hack the door and free the prisoner. Be warned, the prison cell has been rigged with a cube switch. If the wardens detect an intrusion, they will start an execution sequence. Failure to rescue the horses before that sequence finishes will uh, result in their termination. Once the prisoner is free, they will begin to follow the Tenno. Protect them and get them to extraction. Tenno can choose to give the rescue target a weapon to help defend themselves. Walk up to the target and press X to give them your secondary weapon. Usually, yeah, I, usually I don't do that because um, it turns out that um, as long as he doesn't die, you're good. Um, basically, you need to get to extraction. He doesn't need to get there at the same time as you. <laughs> you just need to get to extraction with him alive. It doesn't say that. But yeah, true. I read the post so like they're basically saying that uh. They're going to do bounties to see if there's a better chance and resupply chance and all this other bullshit. I was like, well, if it's not, you guys better give us more time to get these relics. No lie. Sabotage. Because I've got about Sub 20 infiltrate. bounties already with these relics out, and I've only gotten three relics. Infiltrate the enemy hold and cripple the yeah, like operation by striking at vulnerable how points. How much time is it going to take to fucking um, test this, you know? The, well, they're giving the us mini -map two will lead to you. get these relics. The yeah, well, this testing better be for like one day or something only. The mini map well, I mean, leads you to the target. Once it's then. been destroyed, get to extraction as fa fast as possible. Usually, you strike at the. <gasps> oh, thank God, it's almost about to extract because I'm dying out here. I oh, got another minute and 40 seconds. No, I don't. That was, uh, that's the uh, mission. I know. Expired. I was talking about extract. This is the espionage mission. So this is spy. Um, a tenor must search through enemy ships and outposts to find data yeah, vaults containing go crucial intel. The data vaults are guard guarded All by right. a myriad of security measures, from laser traps to sensor drones. Tenor should attempt to extract the intel without being detected. I was gonna find one more if the enemy like, detects any intrusion, Tenor will have a well. short time to retrieve the intel before it's destroyed. I'm gonna check the drop chance on these things. Most missions will contain multiple data vaults. Uh, the sure number of successful extractions required changes by mission. Well, cons, you can suck my balls. I don't care about that. That's the huh? uh, uh, They're fucking talking about the ghouls. Oh. Uh. Those people were kicking my ass because they kept knocking me over. Maybe that's the infestation they're talking about right now. Survival. Yeah, I mean, it's cut off life support systems. Lewis is able to drop uh, in in small life support reserves periodically. Yeah, my ears. These will be marked on the minimap. Uh, to maintain Prime life support, Tenno must activate these as they days. appear. Enemies themselves have a what chance to drop smaller tanks of life support. Uh, these will help keep the life support levels up be between the larger prime. canister drops. Oh, yeah. If life support runs out, Tenno will begin to suffocate well, and take damage. One, two At this point, the only option is extraction no, or really. death. You said it was G relics? The oh, longer Tenno survived, the more rewards they will receive at the top of the enemies will become. G2, E1, Meso F3. Neo F1. Um, Neo e trials are deadly Axie chances L1, that will allow up to eight Tenno to work together to overcome the greatest threats in the origin system. Uh, Tenno will be expected to survive unique traps and solve elaborate puzzles before facing off against exceptionally powerful opponents. The rewards for completing a trial are among <laughs> the most exotic in the system but are only obtainable once per day. Seven on capture. Tenno pit their prowess and techniques against one another as two teams fight for each other. Fight each other in an attempt to capture the opposing team's cephalon while protecting their own. A tenor must make their way into the opposing team's territory and run into the opposing <laughs> cephalon to capture it. Yeah, everyone's pissed about it. If the opposition. It's like capture the flag, basically. Um. If the op uh, tenors make their way into the opposing team's territory and run into the opposing cephalon, yeah, everyone's capture. pissed about the bounties being the only way to get the. If relics. the only uh, opposition to defeat, on navigation in if the opposition to defeat the tenno before they can capture it, uh, the cephalon will be dropped. For a short time, the cephalon will remain that where it was dropped and return if an opponent runs over it, or picked up if an ally runs over it. Bring an opponent's cephalon to your own cephalon will capture it and award your team a point. The 
the first team to uh, gain three points or the team with the highest amount of points when the time runs out wins the match. Did you hear what I said about the relics? No, what? Everyone was pissed about it. Oh, well, I'm sure they are. Um, like, everyone's like, why the fuck are they bounty only? That's my exact response, too. Fight against seven other Tenno in this free fall arena. Now I let the aura by collecting it to gain a point. So this is annihilation. Um, not let the aura by collecting it to gain a point. Be aware of that if another enemy annihilates the aura, they regain the point instead. Uh, the attendant with the most points at the end of the match declared the winner. Team annihilation. Join three teammates in battle against an opposing team of um, four players. Wasn't he was doing? Defending your enemies will cause them to drop. Defeating your enemies will cause them to drop an aura. Uh, either yourself or a teammate can annihilate the aura by collecting it, granting your team a point. Other enemies can deny your team the point if they're able to annihilate the aura dropped by your fallen oh, team. By their fallen, fallen teammate. Fuck. What does it want? What do you need? Oh fuck. What do you need? Uh, did I tell you I found my? Well, I didn't find it, but the kids found my amp cord. Oh yeah. I, I, yeah. That's also. Yeah. Uh, so either yourself uh, or team. Okay. Bounties. Other enemies can deny your team the point if they ever deny the aura drop by their fault. Give it a few days. Team with the most points at the end of the match declare the winner. What? The narrow. Uh, the, the, it's the last the, thing we do. So probably. Lugnaro is an bounty, ancient ball sport, uh, once played both as training and recreation by Tenno of old. Sun and Moon form teams up to three players. Done, Using a Nakata skew, uh, players try to hold the ball known as a Lunaro. If we don't, then I'll just uh, through the opposing him. team's goal. Teams defend their own goal by intercepting the Lunaro when two. passed uh, <coughs> or shot at the goal. Through the Warframe, you can't buy a Frost. Yeah, you can. I have 10 options by Teams, uh, uh, fire, uh, defend their own goal by intercepting the Lunar and pass a shot at the goal. No, 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 there's uh, um, Lunar is a contact a sport and players are free to forcefully knock the Lunar out of another oh. player's Akata. After the, a goal, the scoring team must leave uh, the opposition like, zone before they can take possession of the Lunar again. Lunar consists of two five minute periods. End of the second period is clear and win. <coughs> team with the highest score at the end of the second period is clear and win. Let's do this. Give us a shot. I think it was coming to about forty four percent. This abandoned field. Tenno will come together in the spirit of Tenno and team and resurrect this forgotten tradition. Let me explain how it works. Lunaro is a team game played on a field divided into two halves, sun and moon. The objective is simple. Get the ball called the Lunaro through the opponent's goal at the opposite end of the arena. The team with the most points by the end of the match wins the game. Alrighty. The hell? At what percent can I play with evil? Why well, am I first prime? Oh, uh, right now. I just want to look at Resident Evil 7 or. I can't. Oh uh, no. Fucking Mike got Scoring. muted again. Actually, let's listen about Akata, whatever that is. To get possession of the Lunaro, you simply touch it. It will pull into your arm mounted launcher. Ah. Launch the Lunaro by tapping nice. the fire button. Holding the fire button for the duration of the throw will launch it further. To curb your shot, try launching the Lunaro from a slide. Your Akata is also equipped with a range limited attractor. Hold the aim button to attract the Yeah, they got the ghoul bounties up again. Interceptions mm. and guarding your team. I don't want to do ghoul, ghoul bounties up again. They suck the first time, especially with their drop rate possession of, the of anything good. Simply touch it. It will pull into your <coughs> arm mounted launcher called your Arcada. What is this? Launch the Lunaro by tapping the fire button. Holding the fire button for the duration of the throw will launch it further. To curve your shot, try launching the Lunaro and slide. Your Arcata is also equipped with a range limited attractor. Hold the end button to attract the Lunaro when it is... Sort of the same shit I did. Interceptions mm. guarding your team's 
Let's turn their spam the cool. relics, see how much ones they drop. Knowing at all that I can't get one of the relics again. <coughs> Just gonna minimize Warframe for now. Oh, the kid did turn on my computer. That's how you play as a new guy in this one, don't you? What? Resident Evil 7? Yeah, his name is, oh, um, I see. Nick? No, um, uh, Ethan. Oh, Ethan? Checking again, I remember. Oh, okay. <sighs> yeah, I'm kind of stuck in the middle of the store right now on that one. Ah. I, um, I'm out of ammo on there at the moment. Oh, shit. Oh, that's damn. never a good thing. No, it's not. <laughs> that's really the last thing you want in Resident Evil. Because <laughs> at first it seems like you don't really need it, but then when you get to the middle part of the game, oh my god. Uh, you do have to freaking conserve ammo no matter what. Oh, I know, yeah, and I don't think you need it. And I try to, but then you get to a certain boss fight where you use a lot of it, and then, yeah. <laughs> oh shit. So uh, yeah, be careful, man. Oh shit, that's eyes. Okay. Damn. What? I was like, I'm looking up on locks for this game. And if you beat the game in four hours oh, or less, you okay. get a circular saw. Yep. 
And extra glasses. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the extra glasses would be for. Huh? I don't know what the extra glasses would be for. Basically sending them to walls and shit. So you uh, already know everything about the game at that point. I thought they were going to make it to where you can see through uh, the old woman's, uh, what's it called, cl uh, clothing. This is some cool <laughs> shit. So if I do that. Oh, fuck. They, uh, yeah, they, um... They really made this game scary as fuck. I'm down. I didn't mean that. Oh, fuck. No, let me in. Find another way in. Isn't that the thing about horror games? You can't go through that way, you have to find another. Oh, shit, okay, okay, so yeah. I don't see that. I see. It'll make it. Versus barbed wire no, all over the damn thing. I'll take this little trail eh. over here. Oh shit. So uh, if I make it uh, here. It sounds like I'm gonna try to play. Dude, I like this guy's car. Play what? I'd rather play Leon. Leon's a badass. Like, yeah, but Ethan's uh, whole oh, new shit. character is supposed to be a restart or refresh. Yeah. And don't worry, there's things about the older games in there too. Good. <coughs> hmm. I found a van. Apparently in the DLC ha. on there, it'll tell you about, um, it'll, it'll actually kind of cover parts of the story that confuse players. Oh, really? Yeah. Like where the protagonist and stuff comes from and all that. Little things like that. Huh. And I won't say who the protagonist is in this game, because it's crazy. Is it one of the all good guys? <laughs> nope. Good. Let me guess, Wesker? Yeah, no, this is a, this is a new person. You'll just you'll just have to get into okay, the game. So this is a new story, basically. In a way, yeah. I mean, it still has to do with some of the old enemies and stuff, but it's, yeah. it's, it's just a new person who's doing things. You'll see what I mean. Alright, whatever. Um, Alright, I'm good for this. Hello, cannibals have been here. <laughs> Reference to the forest. <laughs>